Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a minute. I know, I'm sorry, I really apologize. I've just been kind of busy and really enjoying other games right now and I've really been dragging my feet on this and I'm sorry. I hope that all of you that still had questions still want answers. Uh, if you don't, I don't blame you. It's been too long. You probably don't even care anymore, but guess what? I still keep getting questions and I, I really should answer them and I just haven't. I've been wanting to make a video to answer all your questions but I just don't know how to go about it and I'm like I don't know what I should do or what but then now that I've thought about it it's actually pretty simple in a sense so I'm just gonna do a video off the bat no preparation or anything just so you all can actually see exactly what you need or what needs to be done you don't have to worry about all oh, this is all pre-planned or anything in a sense it is but it's not super planned that I have a script or anything no I don't so if it's really bad, I apologize, but hey, th this is probably the best way to do it. So, one of the questions I keep getting about the mods for Car Mechanic Sim. You want to be on Steam. Unfortunately, there's not a way to do it for Xbox. Um, I, I'm really sorry I didn't answer that or kind of get to that in the last videos or the last few videos. I just didn't think I would have to answer that, mostly because... I, I showed it through the Steam. I, I, I showed you how to get to your files on Steam. I didn't show you how to get to your files on Xbox or anything like that. So if you messed up your game doing that, that's probably why. So if you have the Xbox version, I would highly suggest you go and do a clean install on your uh, game again and get rid of the mods. Um, this only works on Steam. Let me rephrase that. It only works with the Steam version of the game. So, well, now that we got that out of the way. So, what you want to do is come to your Car Mechanic Sim, you know, in your Steam library. What you want to do is just open up a folder. You want to open up where your folder is located on your system, your PC, your computer. It doesn't have to be in a specific spot, just find it. And the easiest way to do that is go to Browse Local Files. This will pull up a file explorer of all the game folders and any little extensions that you need. Now, go ahead and put this aside. Let's just go ahead and do this to make it easier. Now, what you do is you'll go online and get Melon Loader. So here you'll come to this website, Melon Loader. This is what it should look like. You want to hit get started. Now you want to do the automated installation, melonloader.exe. Let it install, let it do what it needs to do, and eventually, and install it anywhere you want as long as you can find it, okay? So here I have it set into one of my drives, and I'll go ahead and open it up. Now this is exactly what I have it set to. As you can see, I had to reinstall my game, so this is a perfect time for me to go ahead and do this video. I had to remove a drive and transfer all my data, so I have to redo everything myself. So, what you'll do is you'll select a Unity game. Now again, this is where having this comes into play, because you know where it's at. As you can see, it's on this drive on this PC. So what I'll do is I'll select, and it even pulls it up. And what you want to do is click this right here, Car Mechanic Sim Application. Go ahead and open it up, and you're set. Okay, now that you have the game in there, you notice that it has version 6.4. Unclick this box. Go all the way down to 5.7. The reason you want to do this is because the QOL mod and any other mods you get on Nexus Mods only are supported be no more than 5.7. This is not anything to do with melon loader or anything it's just the best version of melon loader that works with the mods so now that you have that leave it on 64 there's no issue with that um as long as you got that go ahead and install it should probably be this button and let it do what it needs to do i've already done it so i'm not going to do that and i believe all that's left is to go in to your back to your car mechanic sim folder and you'll see a melon loader folder and a mods folder this is where you'll put all the mods you download, like QOL, TK Aftermarket, the Engine Stand mod, and any other ones you want to add. And those have their instructions, uh, depending on how you need to install them. I believe all you got to do is drag the actual folders into here, and that's all you need to do. 
So with QOL, TK aftermarket, and the engine stand mod, that's all you need to do. Now that you have that, I'll go ahead and put this up and show you what will happen. You'll get this. Don't worry. This is QOL going and reading your folder, checking to see any mods that you might have and going and starting them with the game. As you can see, it's loading the quote unquote melons and all the mods that you have. All you got to do is wait. It will take me a little bit longer because I have a ton of uh, workshop cars and I believe the melon loader makes the time a little bit longer. Uh, so you just have, I'll cut all of this out. Alrighty, now that we're in the game, finally loading in. As you can see already, our QOL mod has installed. Uh, the, the, the billboard over here actually says QOL mod. And uh, so we know that is already in there. I know I didn't show how to install that, but like I said, I think all you got to do is drag the folder. The main thing is trying to even get the folder started or the mod started with getting your melon loader all situated. Alrighty, we are now in the game. As you can see, our QL is working because all our cars are now parked in the spots. I do need to figure out how to add more cars out here, but unfortunately that's a really complex configuration within the actual uh, notepad or uh, side of the mod. So I'm not really gonna do that right now. So now we need to see if TK Aftermarket is in. It is, we have the brakes, and then we need to see if we have the engine stand mod. So what I'm just gonna do is create an engine real quick. Maybe this. So now that it's on there and I think it's F9. Oh. Or is it F7? Oh, I'm hitting the wrong one. It would be great if I hit the F9 instead of F8. There we go, perfect. So now we got all that, so it does work. So yeah, there you go, that's probably the best way I can explain how to do the mods I even showed you through the process now like I said I didn't show you how to actually install the, the engine stand mod or TK aftermarket mod or uh, QOL but like I said the only thing you need to do with those is download them to a spot you know extract them extract the folders and put them in the mods folder that QOL or a melon loader gives you after that, that's all you have to do. You can close out everything, start your game up, let the melon loader figure out where the mod is, and it'll show up for you. And after that, you can just start playing and messing around. Um, I do plan on trying to stream this game. I'm trying to get back into YouTube and doing this again. I've been off, maybe some of you have noticed, been doing a lot of sim racing. I recently got into that. Well, I say recently, it's been about a year. But, uh... I just been loving in every second of it. It's kind of slowing down now, so I want to get back into this while I have the time. So, like I said, I'll be trying to stream this pretty soon. Maybe I've already streamed it. Uh, I know I took a while to get videos out when it comes to editing and posting them and everything. Recording is the easy part. Editing is the long and tedious part, mostly because I hate the software I use. I really need to get DaVinci. Anyway, I'm rambling on, like I said, Catch a stream. Hopefully you guys can say hi. I'll try to answer questions in live streams too if you want to stop by. But I hope this answers any of your questions. Actually, real quick, before I close. Now, one of the questions I've been getting is something to do with like errors or freezes or fail codes such as fail to download CPP to II or something like that. I can't necessarily help with that. I believe that's probably something to do on your end. Either you downloaded the wrong um, version of it as far as Melon Loader, or you probably installed it in the wrong spot, or you probably forgot to extract the actual folder. Um, a lot of these are coming zipped and you need to unzip them. It just makes it quicker to download for you. So when you finally download it, you need to unzip or extract the file or the folder and then you can put it into the mods folder and it should work that way. If you leave it zipped or anything like that or un unextracted, it won't work. So just make sure you check over that and make sure you do have it uh, extracted. Other than that, I think the biggest issue was try people trying to go to Xbox and trying to do the uh, uh, game that way. Unfortunately, that does not work. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Hopefully this answered a lot of your questions. Look forward to more videos on Car Mechanic Sim. As you can see, I got a couple projects I've done by the wayside. One I've got uh, ready to go 
and I did want to start this one and maybe a few keen eyed viewers here might notice that I've got a lot more money. I have already done a McLaren F1 video. Unfortunately, it did not save. So uh, that video is gone. So I'm going to do another one for you. Uh, hopefully you guys stick around for that. Um, like I said, look forward to it and hope to see you guys soon. Take care, everybody.